Hey, Boriora. Co Inta Totemanga, Co Tana Teroto, Co Kavanati Awa, Co Manaki Tanga Tewaka, Co Amara, Co Havashana Iwi, Co Nati Aroha Te Hapu, No Ethiopia Aho, Engari Kete Noho Kite Rio Aroha, Kete Takitaki or Mutaka, Co Yosef Ayala Aho. Kia ora, everybody. Welcome to New Frontiers. Uh, we're all here to help catalyze positive global impact. This is about making a difference. This is about leading systems change in the extraordinary times that we live in. This is about changing paradigms. And a paradigm is how we see and interact with the existing reality. A paradigm is the way we build patterns of what is real. It's the assumptions of what many of the stories and infrastructures and systems were built on. But before I get into that, I'd like to ask each of you to think if there's been an experience in your life or multiple experiences that have really changed the way you see reality. Raise your hand if you've had an experience that has changed the way you see things. We all have, most of us have. And, and perhaps that reality goes back to what you've been used to. Sometimes your life changes in its trajectory. For me, coming to Aotearoa New Zealand has been that paradigm shift experience. All the way from moving from cities to a farm and being dependent on all the elements and living here in Upper Hutt. It rains, droughts, there's a lot of wind and moving from a highly independent and autonomous lifestyle that I had built to an interdependent environment. I also experienced that living with neighbors who know a lot more about setting fires and looking after yourself in the winters. Part of my paradigm shift has been driving around this nation and stopping at places where you see a sign that says, come and buy this fruit or vegetable. You go in and there's nobody there. There's just a bunch of food, and then there's a box you put some money in, and they trust that you put the right amount of money, and at the end of the day, someone's going to come and take the money away. And it works. And that really changed my paradigm of what human behavior is. Coming to this place and Kiwi saying, yay, nah, <laughs> yes and no at the same time, and I'm like really confused, what does that really mean? It sounds small, but that's paradigm shift as well. <laughs> Learning about Faka Papa, or our, as our brothers and sisters at Tiatiawa say, Waka Papa in their dialect. Um, lineage, where we represent everything that has come before and everything that's going to come after. Moving away from an individual lens to a collective lens. That has shifted my paradigm. And each of us can remember different experiences in life that have created that little shift for us, where we zoom in and zoom out and see different aspects of this experience that we all share. Part of the uh, experience for me coming here was doing, zooming out and doing research about how natural ecosystems operate and creating parallel with how organizations and innovations and people operate as well, and the interdependencies that exist between all life being there. And zooming out has helped me see that we're all part of one living organism. That the health of one side means the health of the collective. And so, with the paradigm lenses that we use, that's how we build the systems around us. The view that we have of how reality works, we use that to build the different systems that we have around us. And so I want to ask you, what are the systems you're helping build? How do they work? What are the functions and malfunctions of our systems around us? In the space and time that we're in, we operate under a predominant paradigm. You know, many people call it capitalism. Some people look at it as Western democracy, uh, a view of growth at all costs. You succeed by being successful. Um, so many different ways of seeing that. And whether we like it or not, we're part of it. We contribute to it, we benefit from it. At the same time, there are new systems that are being built. And systems can be within a system, or outside a system, or in parallel to existing systems. So for example, 
We've got many people in this room working on decentralized technologies such as uh, uh, distributed ledgers, blockchain, holochain. And those are creating whole new systems in parallel and within. We've got people working in regenerative agriculture that is building a whole new system of growing food and looking after land, working in parallel with monoculture. We've got Te Ao Māori, which is an old system that is operating outside of our predominant system. We've got the organization of iwi, hapu, and Fano, which is operating in parallel to how humanity has organized itself. We've got people working on turning waste into energy, taking something that is a liability in our existing system and turning that into some form of value. And so we're all part of many different experiments of building new systems. The current paradigm that we're in, however, is, is very common in the systems that were built, which is really focusing on the individual. A lot of things come at the end of the day to how individuals behave, how individuals benefit. And through our collective work, we can model new paradigms, new systems. And when you build a new system, that helps change how we see the world. Over the last week at Welcome Week, uh, we had a very uncomfortable set of experiences for people to build a new pattern of how we relate to one another. And that was challenging. Many fellows came and said, this is one of the most uncomfortable experiences I've had. But I love it. And within four days, we modeled, we experimented with a different way of connecting, building trust, connecting to one another, building community. And that helped give a glimpse of what is possible. And that is what EHF is about. We're here to experiment with new systems, with new ideas that show what is possible, that gives us a glimpse of what we can do, that creates a new collective story. So we're here not to just play the game that we have in front of us, but we're here to change the rules of the game. We're here to think about how do the systems that we build, how do the infrastructure we build, how we leverage our capacities, our talents, our innovations, to create a regenerative environment. Something that contributes to the health and well-being of one another. And that is a collective experiment that we're all part of. And some of the things that we're working are within our existing systems, our existing paradigm. Some things are completely outside you and think, this is crazy. Some things are operating in parallel, and they're all fine. As long as we're able to keep pushing our own boundaries to exploring the new frontiers of what is possible. And that is the opportunity for Aotearoa New Zealand, is to be that incubation nation for the new systems, for the new ways of how we interact and relate with one another, and spread that across the world. I don't think New Zealand will be successful by playing the game that other people have created. I think our unique potential here, here is to help change the rules of the game. And we're here because we want to create impact. And each of us have a different way of relating to that notion of positive impact. And we're not here saying this is the right way or this is the wrong way. This is not about virtue signaling. But this is about taking the collective talents and capacities that each of us have to start poking and to start experimenting. What are the things we build that can change the paradigm that we have? How do we zoom out from where we're at? And when you zoom out, diversity is wealth. When you zoom out, like the forest right behind me, this is, this is a wealthy ecosystem. Sometimes the, the bird, what the bird sees is very different from what the tree that's been there for a thousand years sees, or from what the insect sees, or from what the mushroom network under the soil sees. So each of us are seeing reality from very different lenses. But when we zoom out, we can focus on how to keep the whole ecosystem healthy. Because when one part of society is unhealthy, then everybody suffers. When the rivers are dirty, then the whole ecosystem suffers. But when an ecosystem is healthy, you can hear the birds singing, the bees humming, 
life flourishing. And so how do we build such healthy ecosystems? How do we increase and improve the regeneration of all life and reduce the unintended consequences of our actions? And how we build relationships with organizations' ideas is also very important. And if we're willing to let go, then the things that have passed their expiration dates can die and compost and turn into soil for new life to emerge. And that is part of that cycle of life. So in the, over the next day and two days, in the conversations you're all having, in the connections you're making, I invite you to ask yourself, what is the paradigm lens that I'm using in this, in this corridor? What are the new systems that we're building together? Am I trying to do something within our existing system? Am I experimenting something completely outside? Am I building something that's in parallel to it? And ask yourself, how am I helping contribute to the health and well-being of the entire ecosystem? How do I zoom out? And like a paradigm shift, it's like a lens. You put it on and you take it off. So I invite you all to feel safe and feel free to experiment putting different lenses in how you see reality. Perhaps take a step back and start to question your assumptions of how you've seen everything to be working, what success means, what failure means, what our connectivity means, and hold a safe space for one another. Because this is a very diverse room. This is a very diverse ecosystem. And when done wrong, we can clash with one another, we can self-segregate, we can blame one another, but if we're all coming from a good place and an open space, we can really leverage the richness that exists here, the different perspectives. So talk to somebody who you don't normally talk to. Go to sessions that you might not normally go to. This is a safe environment for learning. And in everything we do, let us please change the rules of the game. Let's not just play what's right there in front of us blindly. And let's build new, new games, new systems here for the health and well-being of one another, of our planet, and all, all of life. Kia ora.